Antonio Graceffo, it's Martial Arts Odyssey. Today we are in Selangor, Malaysia, and we're learning Kyoko Shin. Master Michael, so nice to meet you. <laughs> well, how should I? Oops, oops, oops. Could you tell the folks at home a little bit what is Kyoko Shin? Uh, Kyoko Shin is basically heart training, um, the full contact karate. Full contact karate, but it applies to everybody. Even, even you see some here is the children. Uh, but we have a different kind of training for children and different kind of training for adults. So um, you, you, you go through this after you see why the children are different and why the adults training are different. I was watching Michael when I first came in, I saw you uh, hitting, hitting the, the wood with your bare hands. Oh, so, so, so. Look at his hands, look at his hands. Look at my hands, I have girl hands next to him. Look at that, it's very different. He's hitting the wood with that, he's hitting the wood with his shins. It would be so much more comfortable to do it like this. I'm going to suggest that later. Kyokushin is all about conditioning the body both for muscular strength and for toughness. So there's a lot of drills where various parts of your body are being banged and hit, and you're hitting with your shins, you're hitting with your knuckles, you're pounding on the floor, you're getting kicked by your partners. For strength training, there's a lot of drills where you're using your opponent's body weight as resistance. Similar to lifting weights, except instead of weights, you're using another person. Stay on, stay on, stay on. 30 more seconds. Kyokushin is probably one of the only traditional forms of martial art that is well respected by fighters as well, because Kyokushin fighting is solid, real fighting, and you fight bare knuckles, yeah? Yeah, bare knuckles, and uh, it's full force, you punch, full contact, you know, full contact. You don't protective, safety protective. And none of this with the points and the brain? No, yeah, 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 it's yeah. real fighting. And knock down the wind. Face! Get it, get it, up! Okay. Uh, punch it, punch it. Oh, slap, punch it. Slap, punch it. Uh, because I told me on my... Uh, 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 culture shock on the left person. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, hey, hey, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Left, 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 left. This is like a uh, example. Of, this is a slap, but this is a punch. Uh, punch. Yeah, uh, similar. Okay. The guy was okay. slapping okay. me with his hand. I thought he was trying to start some stuff. The slapping thing was kind of fun, but that kicking thing was really painful. That's horrible. Yeah, every day. Every day. <laughs> this picture right here, this is Masayama, and he's the founder of Kyokushin. Michael, can you tell me a little bit about this great man? Uh, he, he was uh, he's, uh, the modern legend for uh, karate today because uh, he, before he, he formed Kyokushin, he, was, he, he wanted people to learn this karate. So before that, he will have to prove himself. So he proved himself uh, fighting with a lot of people, challenged with a lot of people, and he always based on this philosophy is one punch that now. That means he focuses more on power. And then comes to the skill and comes to the flexibility. But power is the main priority in the Kyokushin training. And, uh, Patty Carson, my Khmer boxing coach in Cambodia, who's my number one coach for all my training, uh, was also a second dan in, in Kyokushin, and he's part of the reason why I came here. Patty, Patty sent me to see Kyokushin. Send my regards to Patty. I 
percent plus. You went to plus come to Okay. Now, uh, and, no, no. You, you, you are, uh, the culture is not that big. Yeah. 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 You have to breathe out. If you breathe in, and when the, the punch comes in, it goes in. Yeah. Then you start to shh. So you got to breathe out. That's why the culture is not there. You are not conditioned. <laughs> you are not conditioned. <laughs> Kumite, fighting, is the heart of Kyoko Shin. In competitions, they don't wear shin guards, they don't wear headgear, they don't wear gloves. Full contact to the entire body with the exception of the face. You can't punch in the face, but you can kick in the face. They hit with their shins just like you do in Muay Thai. You can punch anywhere in the body, anywhere in the torso that you want. And they're kicking the insides of the thighs and the outsides of the thighs. That's why they have to do all the, all the conditioning. It's unbelievably hard fighting, and most of these fights, as you'll see, two fighters are never more than a foot and a half away from each other, and they're just constantly just pounding, 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 pounding. I once described Kyoko Shin as the art of standing half a meter away from an opponent, constantly throwing kicks and punches until one of you quits. When I was getting ready that morning to go to Kyoko Shin training, I started putting my gear in my bag, and I thought, well, I don't need my boxing gloves, I'll leave those at home. Oh yeah, I don't need my shin guards, I'll leave that at home. Uh, there's no punching in the face, so I guess I don't need a mouth guard. And um, yeah, we don't need hand wraps. So basically, you could show up at the dojo with absolutely nothing and you're ready to fight. In sparring, they also spar exactly the way that they fight, which is absolutely no protective gear whatsoever. Just that they go a lot lighter in, in the sparring than they do in the actual fighting. Oh yeah, and if you want to see my sparring, watch Martial Arts Odyssey, Kyokushin, Part 2.